Welcome back everybody. My name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Planescape Torment. We're actually heading back into um What's his name's home? Um The Bone Keeper guy. Alright. Really quickly. I'm gone. Where did he go? Oh, I don't need to talk to him. Upstairs, maybe? Ah, there he is. Lothar, we're gonna go talk to Lothar. You again? What do you want from old Lothar now? I haven't given you your- or I've given you your skull friend and your answers. I warned you. I have an all day to attend to you. His gaze falls on you with the force of a sledgehammer. I just wanted to talk to you some more. He stares at you coolly while making a small motion and you find yourself gone. Wait a minute. Oh. Um. We should have asked him to go into his basement at some point in time. I think I'm gonna screwed up that quest because I don't think we can get down there anymore. Although maybe we can. Oh yeah, we can. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go down here. Uh, this is the basement. It's also yeah, where we can deal with me, All right. or hug me. one guy that we me. are not super thrilled with. Gone. We're gonna find him. Looks like whoever is there has seen I'm better gone. days. Done. I can't remember where to go in here. I thought Mad Talk was in here somewhere. I could be wrong, however. Done. Done. I thought for sure he was. Maybe he's down this way. Yeah, that looks more right. Alright, there's a were rat coming at us. Done. Come at me, were rat. There's Mad Talk. We're gonna kill that bastard for causing us annoyances. The where it hisses at you, but stays its hand in its obvious desire to attack. Instead, it slinks backwards, keeping an eye on you. I'm gone. I can't surround him. That's unfortunate. That's okay, though. You see a half-man, half-rat hybrid. His red eyes gleam with a certain cunning, and the voice that issues from his mouth is oily and insinuating. So, a biped creature comes sleeking into the nest of Lothar's servants. What do you want, man? Where do you intend to go? Step lightly, intruder, and speak the truth to Mantok. Who are you? A Mantok, leader of... I am the voice of many as one, the emissary of Lothar, master of bones. I speak here, and you answer. What do you want here? You work for both of them? Doesn't that test your loyalty? And why should it, hmm? The master knows the secrets of the power, and many know the secrets of the city. Perhaps someday I shall play them against each other and become the greater for it. Many as one sees many advantages in such an arrangement and conversation of the buried village dwellers can help to extend the reach of Lothar and many as one. All benefit, yes? Now what is your purpose here? Now I'm seeking the master of this place. You, see Loth you seek Lothar, yet you've come from his sanctum. Go now and I shall forget that I've seen you. We're gonna kill this guy because he is annoying and I hate him. We're a little bit trapped now. That's not great. Let's move. Come on, people. Uh, that's a lot of rats. Like a whole lot of rats. Uh, let's go. Some forest missiles on some. All right, that should be better for positioning. Or not, we just made it so they can surround us. That's really not good. Alright, let's run back. Better idea. Lob another spell in their direction. Or some ball lightning. Yes. That's one dead. Oh, right. Mort can't even hit these things. The stupid weapons, but at least he can tank. Let's go with another. We can always sleep after this. Let's get an axe of torment out, actually. I think we're okay. That was a bunch of spells we used up, but that's okay. Totally worth it. 
Oh, we'll grab all their jewelry, because why not? It's worth selling. Am I really full? I am full. Alright, who has lots of inventory room? Mort does, he has nothing in his inventory. That's a lot of rats. Also, that axe spell is super cool. I like that one. Damn it, Mort. You had one job. That job was to loot things, not to make more enemies. Let's go kill it. Okay. Good as done. Alright. So that's how you find Mantwok. He's worth killing. You get his head. Where do you get his book? Camera was in the book though. Let's take a quick look. Oh, it's an identifiable item, so let's take a quick identify of it. As we do have a spell for that. Hmm. We really don't need the one gold stiletto, to be honest. We'll keep the skull of Mantwok. Although we now have all the skulls in the game, I think. Alright, what's the book do? As you touch this book, you hear a voice. I greet thee, master. How may this humble tome serve you? You can talk? That I can, master, in many different languages. Only you should take care that none see us conversing, for they cannot hear me. And master, speech is but one, but is but one of my powers. What can you do? What are your powers? I can grant you abilities that will give you greater latitude and less vicissitudes, master. I can offer advice to you. What abilities do you mean? There are powers, or these are powers, my master, that can improve your life immeasurably. Unfortunately, the laws that bind me, they demand a small service and recompense for these powers. A small service? Like what? The service requires a trifling one, master. I would barely mention it if it were not for the stake of the laws that bind me to this page, to these pages. The book pauses. To unlock my power, you must sacrifice but a small bit of yourself, my master. You must spill blood on the first of my pages. This act will serve to strengthen the chain between us and allow me to help you reach your full potential. It is a small price to pay for the spells that will come to be at your disposal. Not yet. Duff remains open. Updated Good. Farewell. Journal. Um, it is a really, really evil book, by the way. Um, if you do take it upon yourself to do the sacrifices and the uh, rituals to unlock the book's powers... Right. It will turn your alignment evil. Just flat out evil. Um, you end up having to kill people and stuff. We're not going to do that in this game. Maybe we will a little bit later, but... Probably not. Just saying. Um, there's only one final thing we need to do in this area, I think. Before we head off to the Clerk's Ward. And that is unlock the Siege Tower. Gone. Maybe we'll go in the siege tower. I can't remember if there's anything we need to do there. It's not Corvus we need to I'm talk gone. to. Who is the person? I'm gone. Is this guy over here? Drixel. No, that's not him either. Who was it I needed to talk to? I thought it might have been Corvus, but it's not. Um, What was his name? Laszlo. We need to speak with Laszlo. Right. That's his name. Done. Laszlo, there we go. You see a young boy with pale yellow skin. His clothes are dirty and in need of mending. Currently, he is tending a furnace. Greetings! He turns and gives a half smile and sits on his work. Hail, do you need some help? Yes, I have some questions. I'd be happy to help you if I could. The boy looks grateful not to be toiling over the furnace. What is it it can answer for you? Um... Can you tell me about this ward? Oh hi, this here's the lower ward. Common folk live here, like me and my da. His eyes widen a bit and he looks excited. Do you know why it's called the lower ward? Lower ward? No, why is it called the lower ward? Well, it's reckoned that the ward's got a mess of portals to the lower plains all riddled through it like cheese. So it does, so I suppose that's why the name stuck. He smiles proudly. Why are there so many lower plane portals here? It's a mystery to me as it is to you, Cutter. Not sure if there's any reason for the portals. As much, just the circumstances. Could be the lady's will. Could be chance, I suppose. He shrugs again. Do any creatures ever come out of these portals? His eyes grow a little wider. Aye, they do. Most of them just stopping through. He swallows nervously and looks worried. You seem nervous. Have you seen this yourself? I have seen it. He pauses and swallows again. Twas just last week or so. I saw a couple of abishi come through the portal. They talked a good bit, and then one of them went back through. The one that stayed is still there. He frowns. What were they talking about? I don't know for sure. To me, it was just hissing and such, but I think they was talking about the tower. The Updated tower? Aye, ah, that's one of the strangest sights to be in the ward. 
No one really knows how long that scarred old tower has been around. We can't get into it, you know. Bolted up tighter than a chastity belt. I'd be curious to know what's in there, he thinks for a moment. The Abishi was gesturing at the tower and the portal. They were looking for the key, I bet. What well, key? The key? The portal leads to the tower. Every portal has a key and it opens to somewhere. The key can be a gesture, an item, or even a thought. Many have tried hard to get into the tower. No matter how hard you try, you fail. Maybe the secret to getting in is not Updated to want to get journal. in. I don't know, Cutter. Maybe. Updated Tell me where journal. the portal is located. There's a drawbridge, like contraption, back in the tower east of the market. That's where it is. He gets a farther away look. He gets a far away look, sorry. I gotta go. Let's go into the tower. The tower is relatively small, so it'll be quick. Done. You approach the location of the portal that the boy Laszlo spoke of. You begin to replay your conversation with him in your head. Maybe the secret to getting in is not to want to get in, you hear yourself say. Suppress any desire to enter the tower. And there's the portal. Alright, this dude. You see an iron creature. Its size is staggering. If it stood full height, it would shatter the roof of the siege tower. Thundering echoes rattle the walkway as the creature hammers away on its forge, and the smell of soot and ash fits, or fills the air. Greetings! There is a screaming of metal on metal as the giant turns to face you. You suddenly realize the golem is built into the siege tower itself. Girders, pipes, and huge bracers run through its lower torso and into the walls, and the bottom portion of his body makes up the forge itself. What are you? I am iron given purpose. What purpose? I forge the implements by which the multiverse will be unmade. You mean forging weapons? That's your purpose? Metal is like flesh. Both carry potential in their veins. When tempered with heat and pressure, the potential surfaces. My purpose is to bring forth this potential. Allow it expression. Who do you make these weapons for? I forge them for the sake of entropy. They are pain. Seeking expression. What does entropy need weapons for? Beyond this tower, order rallies its legions. The multiverse heals its wounds. In time, its strength may equal entropy. The multiverse is your enemy? Update Why? The multiverse breathes. It grows. It stagnates. It forges its chains around the plains link by link. In time, even entropy may be chained. And you're opposed to chaining entropy. When a thing seals itself against its own destruction, it merely dies a different death. What you're saying is immortality is just a different kind of death. Immortality is only a word. All that exists can die. So you say you're forging a weapon to kill an immortal. Every, little th every living thing has a weapon against which it has no defense. Time, disease, iron, guilt. How do you know what weapon to use? One must know the enemy to forge such a weapon. And how do I do that? Start with a fragment of the enemy, a drop of blood, a crystallized thought, one of its hopes. All these things tell the way it dies. What if your enemy strikes from a distance, from shadows, and never shows himself? Then that is the fragment of the enemy you must use. How? The actions of your enemy have told you much. Your enemy does not wish to engage you directly. That is a weakness. Or for some reason it cannot engage me directly. That is an equal possibility. Either possibility reveals weakness. How do I exploit that? The actions of your enemy have told you what it does not wish to engage you directly. That is a weakness. Okay. Uh, another question. Have you heard of a night hag named Ravel? Night hag stalked to sunder this city. Her greatest works were those of unmaking. She walked the path of entropy. Do you know what happened to her? Orders set chains about her. She was cast within a cage. Do you know where this cage is? Her prison is unknown to me. Another question. Uh... That's it. That's all I really have to talk to you about. Big giant iron golem. You're not terrifying at all. Alright. We can go back there anytime, so that's pretty cool. Like if we go back up here, you can see the portal's still there. Anyways, um that's pretty much it for the lower ward, actually. I wonder if we can get back that way. Lenny, let's go talk to Lenny again. I think we already did all this conversation. Um, we just want him to... He gives us some weapons that we want to buy. Um, none of this is important information, by the way. Uh, he can teach us to be a thief, but... He also has, um... 
if you become a thief, you can uh, buy weapons from him that are pretty impressive, actually. So we will be coming back to this district eventually. Uh, there are a couple side quests we need to do here. But we can't do them yet because we have to go to the clerk's ward to get them. Um, and the upper ward, I guess. So, we're functionally done here for now. We will be coming back here again, especially to do the siege tower. There are some pieces in the great foundry and the siege tower we need to do. Other than that, though, we're pretty well done with the zone. So, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.